Kay told me to meet her for my last minute touch up before the wedding. <laughs> I certainly want to look my best for Noah. Don't go in now. Ivy, Rebecca, we're missing the wedding. Give me the camera! Never! No! No! Yes, no one can expose us now. Rebecca, what the hell is wrong with you? Well, I, uh... I don't know what you mean. Oh. Is it completely broken, Sam? It's a total loss. I can't even, can't even turn it on. Oh. That's too bad. Not. Well, it looks like I've lost everything that's on this tape, including Kay and Miguel's wedding ceremony. Oh, well... So why don't you just use Photoshop and then you can use Kay and Fox's wedding and then just, you know, put Miguel's head on Fox's. Oh, no, no. That is ghoulish even for you, Rebecca. What? I was just trying to help. And now that Gwen and I admitting to ruining Teresa's life isn't caught on tape anymore, I've helped both Gwen and myself big time. Why are you so happy, Rebecca? What was on this camera that you didn't want us to see? Okay, talk about being caught with your pants down. What are you two doing in here? What? Oh, you think that we're, uh... No, because we're not! Not that there's anything wrong with that at all. It is if one of you is married and the other one is about to be. We can explain. Noah's tux pants didn't fit right. Okay, so I gave him mine to wear for the ceremony. Oh, thank God. <laughs> But your dress fits perfectly. I mean, you look incredible. Gracias. Oh, my God. You can see me. Uh, I think you have me confused with Father Lonigan. No, she means you cannot see her before the wedding. It's bad luck. Our lives are ruined, Noah. Our marriage is doomed. Ethan, focus. You're recommitting to Gwen. You're not marrying Teresa. And why do I feel this overwhelming need to talk to Gertrude now? What is wrong with me? Ethan and I are just minutes away from officially being man and wife again, and this time for keeps. Without Teresa around, coiled and ready to strike, nothing can stop me. I'm glad that Teresa isn't here to see this. It would rip her heart out. Uh-oh. Why is Ethan smiling all of a sudden? Who's he looking at? Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. If Teresa stops Ethan from recommitting to me, I swear I'm going to kill her. And, uh, <clears throat> Father Lang, I'm sorry. We have to stop the ceremony right now. It's okay. Seeing each other before the wedding isn't bad luck. That's just a silly superstition. It's a fact. We're doomed as a couple. Uh, well, don't start crying, because then you're going to ruin your makeup. What difference does it make now? I'll die old and alone. So what are you saying? You're going to call off our wedding because of this? Why not? We'll both save on the divorce later. Armand, chill, okay? You and Noah have been through too much not to get married now. What do you know, Miguel? You're a man. Get out of the way. <sighs> Can you at least just put your pants on? Yeah. Right. Miguel's right, okay? We've all gone through too much not to seize love when it's true and right. Will you listen to Kay, Paloma, please? Sorry. Look, 
I love you and you love me and that is way more important than whether or not we saw each other before our wedding. It's not enough. It's more than enough. Look, uh, baby, plenty of couples see each other before they get married, right? They have photos taken. Uh, they fly off to, uh, uh, you know, to destination weddings together. They do all sorts of things. Noah's right. See? I wish you were, but... What... I am right. Look, love, if there is any couple that can prove superstition wrong, it's us. We are going to have a wonderful life. We're going to have a beautiful house. We're going to have pets. We're going to have kids. We're going to have debt. <laughs> the whole nine yards. I want that. Except the debt more than anything. Good. Then trust me. Trust in our love, and you will have all of it. Okay, why don't I take you down to the bride's room? We'll freshen up your makeup, and we'll just pretend like this never happened. Okay. <laughs> so glad I saw you before we got married. Because you are so beautiful. And I think if I saw you on the altar for the first time, I would have just, boom, fainted right then and there. And who wants an unconscious groom, huh? Unless you're some kind of trophy wife who's chasing an old geezer for his money, but... <laughs> you always make me laugh. And I'm going to make you laugh for the rest of our lives. I love you, Paloma. We are going to have a, a perfect wedding. We're going to have a perfect honeymoon and a perfect life. Nothing will ever go wrong for us ever again. <laughs> So why are you so happy that Sam's camera is broken? Yeah, what was on it that you didn't want anyone else to see? Uh, well, I, I have no idea. I mean, but if the two of you want to film yourselves doing the deed, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it's very fashionable, actually, to do that and then put it on the web. Yeah, don't change the subject. We didn't film ourselves, but you recorded something. Yeah, what was it? Nothing, I swear. I don't believe you. I don't either. Now, Sam, I understand. He's a cop. But you, Ivy? Really, why won't you take me at my word? Because I know what your word is worth. Now that is insulting. I mean, honestly, I was just trying to help Sam with deleting some stuff off the camera, and, and, and I was really trying to help, and then all of a sudden he got all bullish and controlling. Hello? This is my camera. Yeah, and look what happened to it. It never would have broken if you just left well enough alone. Rebecca, just give me a straight answer. Well, I did. I was just trying to help. Trying to help save myself and Gwen, that is. And now that Sam's lost everything that was accidentally recorded, Gwen and I have nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Stop the ceremony. Ethan, are you sure? Yes, Father. How could I have not seen this coming? And after I warned Teresa not to pull anything. Oh, knock it off, Teresa. I know it's you. And by the way, I have known for quite some time that you're Gertrude. You are alive, and there are some hungry sharks in Mexico who owe me an apology. Teresa agreed not to reveal her secret. Oh, my God. What if Ethan figures it out? What if Ethan realizes Gertrude reminds him of Teresa because she is Teresa? Teresa's dead, but Ethan obviously still loves her. Maybe he's unable to commit to Gwen after all. What do you think's going on? I'm not sure. But ever since you were imprisoned by my father, Ethan and Teresa's history became even more complicated. And despite her death, Ethan loves Teresa as much as ever. I'll bet Ethan is going to tell Gwen he can't recommit to her after all. Gwen, I, I can't in good conscience continue with the ceremony. Even blind, I could see this coming. Don't do this. Please don't do this. I, I just... I can't do it. Gwen, our parents aren't here. I can't continue without our parents. So, I, I hope everyone understands. I'm sorry. I really don't mind. I hope this delay doesn't give Teresa time to try something that would expose who she really is. 
Ethan, I understand why you want to wait until Sam, Ivy, and Rebecca get here. But as we discussed, I have a tight schedule today with four weddings on top of my priestly duties. If you delay your ceremony too long, I might not be able to marry Noah and Paloma. Ethan, um, please, you know how important it is that Noah and Paloma get married before we go on our family trip. Oh, I, I know. And we I know. don't want to upset Pilar, of course. No, I, I know. I, um, I have a solution. We could switch places with uh, Noah and Paloma. No and Paloma could get married now, and we could have our ceremony afterwards, and uh, when our parents get here. Solomon himself would be proud of you, Ethan. Right, well, I guess I'll go speak with No and Paloma, father. I'm sure they'll be okay with getting married sooner than later. Excuse me. We'll see what's what's what uh, in a couple of minutes. Okay. I, I really can't wait. I can't either. Excuse me. So are we okay? Yes. Our love is stronger than some silly superstition. Hello, Miguel. Paloma, what are you doing in here? I thought this was the bride's room. Only it isn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking her there right now, actually, so we can freshen up her makeup before she gets married. Well, that's why I'm here, actually. Ethan stopped his recommitment ceremony to Gwen until Sam, Ivy, and Rebecca turn up. You mean they're missing? Well, nobody thinks anything's happened to them, but, you know, they weren't in the church, so he wants to wait until they are. And since Father Lonigan has such a tight schedule, Ethan was hoping that you two were ready to get married now. Uh, yeah, it's okay with me. Paloma? <sighs> of course. The sooner I marry Noah, the better. Perfect. What about your makeup? Oh, she looks beautiful. She couldn't be any more beautiful with any type of makeup. <laughs> All right, let's get you two married. Okay, to the church, let's go. <laughs> You see, what did I tell you? Seeing each other before the wedding wasn't bad luck at all. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, marrying you sooner is a stroke of fortune. I need to understand why I'm preoccupied with Gertrude. Why is she on my mind when all I should be thinking about is Gwen? Oh no, Ethan's heading straight for me. Actually, before I say something that gives me away, it's Teresa. But he's so handsome, and I love him so much. Besides, if I turn and leave now, it'll look suspicious. Damn it, Teresa, you better leave before Ethan figures out it's you. Oh, who am I kidding? She never does what's right. Ethan, you know what? Why don't you go look for your parents? I'll go look for my mother, because we really, we, we need to be ready to start our ceremony as soon as Father Lonigan marries Noah and Paloma. And I have waited for this day too long. I don't want to wait anymore. I, mean, I know, I know, I know you have. And I, I don't want to disappoint you. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna renew our vows as, as, as soon as Noah and Paloma are finished, right? Yes, that is the plan. Now you go look for Rebecca, I'll look for my parents, okay? I will. Why don't you go this way? Okay. Give it up, bitch. You are not getting Ethan back. Where have you been? And if it involves an altar boy, I don't want to hear it. Honey, I was making sure that we don't get exposed. What, for blackmailing Pilar? No. Uh, for blackmailing Daddy because he's a crossdresser? <laughs> no. Then for what? For outing Ethan as a Bennett to the tabloids and blaming Teresa for it? That was like seven or eight years ago. Yeah, but we were just talking about it tonight. In private? Well, or so we thought. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Big Brother was watching us the whole time. Wait, what? Honey, we were not alone when we were reminiscing about all the things we did to Teresa. Now, Sam and Ivy had been in that room. Sam was using his video camera to record Ivy and Fancy getting ready for Fancy's wedding. And when Sam left, he not only didn't take his camera, he didn't turn it off. Oh, no. Oh, yes. That video camera recorded us admitting to everything that we did to Teresa. Oh, my God. You know, Ethan is never going to recommit to me once he finds out that we not only ruined his life to 
torture Teresa, but um, we're the reason that Juanita's terrorizing Pilar. Honey, do not worry about it. I took care of everything. How? I took the camera and I broke it before anyone could see what was on it. So the proof is destroyed. Honey, we are safe. It was a really close call, but we're safe. <sighs> Rebecca was up to something, Sam. I am sure of it. Well, she was acting crazier than normal. <laughs> but why was she insisting on deleting everything from your video camera unless it put her in a really bad light? Makes sense. To grab the camera and run off with it. Mm. She was desperate. And we know she has no shame, so... It must be something really, really bad, like get her in serious trouble bad. Yeah, Rebecca was relieved when the video camera broke and what had been recorded on it lost. Oh, I wish we knew what was on that tape. And I know it has to be more than just sex and sex talk. I guess we'll never know now. Uh, Bob, Dad, what are you... I've been looking all over for you. Ethan, is there a problem? That's what I want to know. What are you doing down here? Well, we were just, we were just about on our way up. Yeah, we lost track of time. Yeah, so did Rebecca. Gwen's off looking for her. Listen, I, I stopped the ceremony because I didn't want to proceed without our parents being there. Is that the only reason? Yeah, what, what else would it be? No, well, you tell me. Yeah, Ethan. Why did you put off your recommitment ceremony to Gwen? news, everyone. Noah and Paloma have decided to switch places with Ethan and Gwen, so they're ready whenever you are, Father. Excellent. Will everyone take their places, please? Mia, yeah, what are you doing here? I thought we agreed that this would be too difficult for you to see Ethan recommit to Gwen. We did. I came back to pray. For what? A miracle, Mama, so I can get Ethan back. Oh, there it is. Oh, come on, I'm just doing what the nun told me to do. What nun? The nun that we saw earlier. She she said that I should come back here and I should pray and that she would come here and help me. Well, why don't you go wait in the vestibule for her? Just anywhere but here. Teresa, seeing this is just its too much for you to handle. Brother Antonio. Who is he, Mama? Okay, now brace yourself. Okay? Don't overreact when I tell you this, but that is your brother, Antonio. No. No, look, Alistair secretly had him whisked off that plane before it exploded. He wanted Sheridan to believe that Antonio was dead rather than to have her be happy. Oh, my God. Yes. So, where's he been? I mean, why, 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 sorry, why is he back now? Alistair kept him captive for years in Boston. And then when Vicky killed Alistair and the checks to his men stopped coming... They left, so your brother was able to free himself, and he came back to harmony. This is a miracle. Mama. Yeah, a miracle. It is a miracle. I want to go to my mama. I know I can't reveal myself to anyone. No, you can't. <laughs> Wait, why is why why is he with Sheridan like that? I mean, are they together? <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> Wait, I thought that she was obsessed with getting Louise away from Patsy. Antonio's return changed all that. He's the one man that she loved as much as she loves Louise. The one man she's had past lives with. Yes, they were together in colonial times and again in the 1920s after the Titanic sank. Isn't it incredible? They're together again. 
Sheridan's love for Antonio survived her believing that he was dead. Just like my love with Ethan, you know. It survived him believing that I was dead. Oh, Teresa, don't go there, Mia. I'm not, don't worry. I know that once he renews his vows to Gwen, he's gonna stay with her. So I lost him forever. Oh, I just wish I could get that miracle I shared and, you know, a happy ending with you. Is there another reason you stopped your recommitment ceremony to Gwen besides the fact that we weren't there? Just my luck having a cop for a father. Um, yeah, the truth is, there was. What is it? All right, this is going to sound really, really strange, okay? I can't believe I'm telling you this, but um, there's something that's nagging me. What? Gertrude. I'm I'm drawn to Gertrude. Wait, Gertrude, the nanny with the bad teeth? Yes. Something about her, mother. <laughs> She's Harvey's answer to ugly Betty. Ivy, Ivy, uh, Gertrude can't help the fact that she looks the way she looks. The point. The point is, she reminds me of Teresa. Oh, you mean after the sharks had their way mother, with her? Mother, there's oh. something about her. I don't know what it is, okay? It's something... Maybe it's her outlook on life, her attitude, her de devotion to the children. It's it's so Teresa-like. I can't be around Gertrude and not think about Teresa. It's like I've known her for years. She even thinks like Teresa, mother. I don't like the sound of this. No, listen, listen, in a good way. For instance... Gertrude made a comment to me that it would be nice if I had a gardenia boutonniere, okay? A gardenia boutonniere is exactly what Teresa wanted me to wear for our wedding, okay? I connect to Gertrude the same way I connected to Teresa. Okay, Ethan. Honey, I'm sorry. Are you trying to tell us that you are in love with Gertrude? Okay. I mean, are you absolutely sure that there is no way that anyone can see us admitting those horrible things that we did on Sam's video camera? I'm positive. Sam tried to turn it on, but it wouldn't. It, it, it's broken. In fact, he was upset because he lost the footage of Kay marrying Miguel. Okay, thank God. But I'm the one you should be thanking. I am the one that saved our supple yet firm behind. I mean, think of all the things we did. If people found that out, I mean, talk about being impregnated. You, you mean impregnable? <sighs> yeah. You know, I was just thinking about Sam, though. I mean, it's such a waste that he's with Ivy. I mean, just think of the things he could do with that weapon. Oh, will you please stop it? I mean, I can't help myself, okay? When I celebrate a victory, I have sex. When I console <sighs> myself over a loss, I have sex. I... <gasps> oh, my God, do you think it's connected? Okay, one more time. Are you, like, 10,000% sure that there is no way that anything we said will ever come back to haunt us? Positive. The evidence... Is destroyed. Now let's have a drink. Now I have to renew my vows with Ethan first. What do you mean? I heard the music. I, you, you mean you and Ethan haven't gotten remarried yet? No, not yet. He he stopped the ceremony. What? <sighs> he said it was because you and Sam and Ivy weren't there, but I don't really think that's the reason because I saw exactly where he was looking when he made his little announcement. Uh, where? Mm, staring straight at Gertrude. I can't believe it. Even when Teresa is dressed up like an Really hideously ugly servant, she can still get through to Ethan. <sighs> Can't believe Paloma's all grown up. Yeah. She'll be so happy to see you. Forward to catching up with her. I just wish that Teresa was here to spend this time with the rest of the family. Don't give up hope, son. We came back from the dead. Teresa will too. Hmm. Have we met? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Antonio. This is uh, Gertrude. She's uh, Ethan and Gwen's nanny. Hi. Uh, hello. Uh, have you lived in Harmony long, or? Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. It's funny, you look so familiar. I don't I thought it was going to The ceremony's yeah. about to start. Okay, thanks. 
<laughs> no, and Paloma, since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Noah, take you, Paloma, to be my lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. I, Paloma, take you, Noah, for my lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. You have declared your consent before the church. May God in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you with his blessings. What God has joined, man must not divide. Amen. 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 Have you your rings? Yes. Uh, yeah, we do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> May the Lord bless these rings which you give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. Amen. Amen. All right. difficult this is for you, Mia. Here, sweetie. I get all emotional at weddings, too. Thank you. My dear friends, let us turn to the Lord and pray that he will bless with his grace Paloma, now married in Christ with Noah, and that he will unite in love this couple whom he has joined in this holy bond. Oh, Ethan, if only I was at the altar with you. Son, did, did we understand you right? Are you trying to tell us that you think you love Gertrude? I, I don't know. But you admit you, that, you, that you feel something for her. I mean, something more than a friendship? All I know is I'm drawn to her. Gertrude? Look, son, don't get me wrong. I mean, she's nice. But you said you were actually drawn to her, like, sexually? What your father's trying to say is there isn't a room dark enough to make her look good. How could you be attracted to her? All right, come on. Come on, she's not that unattractive now. Excuse me? Well, mother, this, you know what? This isn't about looks at all. It's the way she acts. She acts like Teresa. And I find that attractive. Okay, Ethan, look, you, you cannot seriously think that you are in love with someone, much less contemplate spending the rest of your life with someone because they happen to like the same boutonniere that Teresa right, look, did. Look, I, I know that. No, honey, I love you. I love you. You are my son. You are my first one. We love you. We want what's best for you. But this Gertrude thing, I, I, I think what you're feeling for her, it's not real. It's just the last vestige of what you felt for Teresa. I agree with your mom, okay? I think that you're looking for Teresa, you know, a, a part of her, and anyone. Yeah. I, I do miss Teresa, okay? And Gertrude reminds me of her in a way. I guess, I guess that's okay, I, I guess, but, you know, you have a child with Gwen, and there's little Ethan and Jane, you've told them that you're, you're getting married. They've had enough upheaval in their life. Those children deserve some stability. You owe them that. Mother, that's why I'm adopting little Ethan. To give him safety and security. You think you can adopt little Ethan and not marry Gwen? You have a responsibility to both her and the children. I, I know this, but I... No, you seemed very clear about that Mother, before. I am clear about it. I was clear about it, no, but I just Ethan, don't know... Okay, that. listen to me, please. Just listen to me. I think you're just using this whole Gertrude thing as a way to hold on to Teresa. I think your mother's right. Teresa's gone. Okay, you have to let her go. You, you have to marry Gwen and recommit to the children. 
And you have to stop mooning over Gertrude. I know that I have to let go of Teresa and move on. With Gwen, right? Well, that was the plan. Was? Look, I'm going to ask you a question. And just be honest with yourself. Do you love Gwen? Not the way that I love Teresa. I will never love Gwen the way that I love Teresa. Well, your mother and I understand that. Of course we do. But you're married to Gwen. You have a child with her. Look, renewing your vows is nothing more than stating what's fact. Dad, I will not go back on my word. I will recommit to Gwen. Oh, okay, then. It's all settled. But I still have feelings for Gertrude. So stop having them. Ivy, you can't turn his feelings off like that. Well, he can't go through life married to Gwen and pining for Gertrude either. It'll just be the whole Teresa mess all over all again. Right, look, look, you've, you've helped me understand why I'm drawn to Gertrude, okay? It's because she reminds me of Teresa so much. All right, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be able to put my feelings here into perspective. Okay. That's exactly what you have to do. I know. Let's, can, we, can we go upstairs now so we're ready for when Noah and Paloma are married? Yeah, just a minute. I just need to freshen up a little, okay? We'll, we'll be right there. Well, I hope I'm not too late for Noah's wedding. You won't be, no. I just hope we got through to Ethan. He said he was going to recommit to Gwen. Yeah. He would have been happily married to Gwen for years if it hadn't been for Teresa. Ivy, you know what? You can't say that. Ethan wouldn't trade loving Teresa for anything. But she caused him so much pain. Gwen is better for Ethan. She always has been. So they're going to get married. They'll be happy. It'll all work out, okay? It's all going to work out. I am really more concerned about Rebecca. Why was she so insistent on getting that camera away from you? What is on that camera that she doesn't want us to see? That's a good question. But I don't think that uh, where we're going to find out. Hmm. Can you believe how Ethan is drawn to Gertrude and he doesn't even know it's Teresa? Well, actually, I can. Because, you know, I saw this thing on TV where these certain subhuman primates, they, they have these, these glands and, and they, sec they secrete things so they can mark their territory and, and get mates and things. And Well, I bet Teresa's musk is uh, part baked potato and part refried beans. I have a feeling it's more her personality, Mother. Well, whatever it is, who cares? Look, Teresa cannot reveal herself to Ethan or anyone else, or Juanita is going to come and kill her and her entire family. And even Teresa is not that selfish, so you're safe. I will still feel so much better after Ethan and I renew our vows. Honey, I totally understand why you are anxious. I mean, you are in love with a man, a man who is in love with a woman he thinks is dead. But there's nothing to worry about. Because very soon, you're going to become Mrs. Ethan Winthrop again. And then you're going to go have a honeymoon, and it's going to be perfect. And with any luck, Anita is going to track down Pilar and the rest of her family and kill all of them. And then you never have to worry about Teresa again. Father, keep them always true to your commandments. Keep them faithful in marriage. And let them be living examples of the Christian life. Give them the strength from the Gospels. And let them be witnesses of Christ to others. Bless them with children. And help them to be good parents. May they live to see their children's children. And after a happy old age, give them fulfillment of life with the saints in the kingdom of heaven. We ask that through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Noah, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> if only my sister Maria had lived to see the niece that she raised so radiant and happy. Mama. I'm sure Aunt Maria is looking down on us from heaven, and she is just as happy as we are. 
It's hard to believe that's my baby sister. I feel like I've missed out on so much of my family's lives. Mm. You're back now. Back to stay. <laughs> well, I'm glad we made it back to see Noah getting married. You know, I never thought that my wild son would ever settle down. But uh, Paloma managed to win his heart. You know, she's turned him into a different man, a better man. True love changes everything. Everything and everyone lucky enough to find it. My true love is dead. Does Gertrude remind me of Teresa so much that they're one and the same to me? Stop staring at Ethan like that. You could realize who you are, and that would have deadly consequences for all of us. I know, Mama. I just love him so much. I just want to be a family with Ethan and our children. I know. I know what it's costing you to deny yourself the one thing you want most. But you'll see, Teresa. You'll see. In time, you will find another man to love. Mama, I loved Jared, and I loved Fox. And I never felt for them the way I feel for Ethan. Because he's the true love of my life. And then Gwen has managed to steal him away from me. She's the reason I'm not with Ethan. Not wanting to. Gwen. So, Noah and Palomino's wedding is over. It's Paloma. <sighs> Whatever. I just wish Noah would ride me like he's going to ride what's her name. Oh, will you stop without you're not having Noah? How do you know? Never say never. I mean, look at you and Ethan. All right? I mean, the odds were certainly not in your favor. Well, gee, thanks so much. Oh, honey, you're welcome. But you know, it's my job. It is my job to make sure that you feel good about yourself, even when nobody else feels good about you. How did you ever miss your life calling as a motivational speaker, I wonder? Oh, well, I've been far too busy trying to help you land Ethan and to frame Teresa, like like trying to frame her for telling the tabloids the truth about Ethan's paternity. Oh, well, and then there was also the time where we told Juanita how she could find Pilar and her family. But, honey, we have gotten away with all of it. We did it. And now you're going to have this wonderful life with Ethan the way you always should have before that stupid little chica came into your life. <sighs> Well, Teresa's like a cockroach. They never die, and she's not going anywhere. What difference does it make? I mean, she might as well be dead, because once you renew your vows with Ethan, he is never going to leave you. And with any luck, Juanita's going to kill Teresa. And hopefully this time she sticks dead. Go now in peace. Thank <laughs> you.